just a quick video all right guys this is just a quick video basically to go through the um the homework that i gave you guys i see some attempted um and some people did not actually do anything all right but so let's just go over what we did so far right so what we did so far we looked at um we looked at problem solving and that is problem solving using using a computer right all right so so far we look at what the problem is right we say that the problem is a discrepancy between the data that we have and the information that we, we require we also look at what a solution is and we say that a solution is a set of instructions that follow that if followed in a particular order will produce a desired result we looked at using computers to solve problems right so in in using computers to solve problem uh we first have to have a definition of the problem we s first have to sort of break down the problem into a form that can be understood by a computer and we know that there's three main steps well four to four to be exact but but there's three main steps you're going to look at when we write programs we're going to look at inputs we're going to look at outputs and then we're going to look at the processing right so when defining our problem we have to sort of break down that problem or decompose that problem into three main parts the input which is what the user would provide right and the output which is the the um the solution that you that you desire or require right and everything in between there between the input and the output will be actually process right so we have here as part of our notes we have here defining definition of a problem we say defi definition of a problem is the first step towards solving a problem it is the most important step since it leads to a clearer understanding of what is given and what is required if a programmer does not fully understand what is required he or she cannot produce the desired results right uh, in defining a problem we state that there should be no ambiguity right it should be pretty simple the problem should be clear and concise and have only one meaning usually using computers um, or in computer science a ipo chart is used to decompose our problems or to basically to break down our problems into um, simpler blocks so that they could be understood by a computer system All right so it's called an ipo chart or a defining diagram All right the, the defining diagram would have as you see on the screen here input processing and outputs all right so let's look at the the problem that we had so far it says here to create a program right that accepts the name and the age of a user and it says to determine if the user is of voting age right print the username and able to vote if the user is above the age of 18 or name and able and not able to vote if the user is uh less than 18 years of age right so that is our problem here so how do we so how do we break that down into a um into a form that we can actually put into a program so that's what we're going to look at so the first thing we need to do is drop our ipo table and the ipo table is input processing output and then we're going to identify um the part of this problem that should be considered input and the parts of the problem that should be considered as output and then we will look at the processing part all right okay so there's some key ways that you can um, identify inputs all right so normally inputs are normally preceded by the word given enter read or accept right so if we look in our in our um in our problem here we say it says create a program program that accepts so it says accept so that's one of the keywords for input 
So accepts what? What does it accepts? It accepts name and accepts age. All right. So so that means for input we can we can put name and age. So we're gonna put name and then we we'll put here age. All right. So so far we it says input accepts name and age. Okay. As part of our notes also, we see that um, outputs can be identified using keywords and some of the keywords would be print, display, find, produce or output. Now in this problem, when you go through the problem, you look for the word, you look for those keywords and um, we could identify a word, that word print. All right? So we know that somewhere around here we have some output. So it says print. So print what? It asks you to print the name and it asks you also to print able to vote if the user is above a particular age or not able to vote if the user is less than 18. Right? So we see the name would be output and able to vote or not able to vote would also be a output. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that in. So we have here name because you want to print out the name of the user. Just go ahead and bold that. And then you want to print out the um print out why the other either e, um, able to vote or not able to vote. So able to vote. Now we can we can let me just put that in brackets here, and um, I can go ahead and put status here, All right? So that will determine our status. So because you can either have able to vote or actually or not able to vote, All right? Okay. So we have our inputs. So we have name and age, and our outputs. We have name and a status, basically whether the user is able to vote or not able to vote. Okay, so let's look at our processing the processing portion now. So it says that it says if the user if the user is is above the age of eighteen, that user is able to vote. But if the person or the user is below that age, they are not able to vote. So how do we express that? right so we'd say we would say for example um let's go let's let's do it for for example we could say um if if name which is the name of the user we have here so if name is if um sorry if age if age of the user Right, is more than eighteen. Right. Then we print or display. We could say that if age is less than eighteen, display not able to vote. Right. So basically, we're saying that we we accepting inputs of name, age, 
and we're going to check the age if the age is more than 18 then we can display able to vote and if the age is less than 18 display not able to vote right or we could simply remove this portion of it right and we could put it else else here so basically saying if the age is um above 18 display the user is able to vote else display um, not able to vote right and we could use the word display or we could use the word print right print would be fine so that's pretty much it right I hope that you understand it what you can do is go ahead and um, do some of the questions in your in your in your book and get yourself familiar with it right I'll give you a next question and then we will go over it together all right so until then have a great day